Hello, Mama Angels. It's Ray Savvy here back with another mommy vlog. And today we're talking about what's in my hospital bag. Yes, the time has finally come. It's currently 38 weeks. So I have eight days to go and it's still not real to me. I haven't really been having any contractions, but we'll see as the days roll out. I'm sure she'll be here sooner than what I can imagine. Jumping right into it. First, I want to start with baby's bag. Instead of unpacking the bag, like I see most of the time, I'm going to be packing this bag because I've been anticipating packing this bag for so long now that I just want to get it done. So first and foremost, I'm bringing a blanket. Just a soft, nice blanket for baby to lay on. Also, I'm going to be packing this muslin swaddle. I think that's how you say it. I got this swaddle from the Amazon welcome box. Uh, so I'll be testing this one out. I'm so glad that they did get this to us in the welcome box. Baby Savvy's bag is so easy. Um, a couple pacifiers. I don't know if she's going to be a pacifier. I don't know if she's going to be a binky baby, but just in case. These are the pacifiers that came with the Nano Baby starter set. Some small toiletry items are hand sanitizer, of course, for everyone who comes to hold uh, Baby Savvy. And coconut oil for diaper changes. So next... I'm going to pack her going home onesie. If she is newborn size, which I am anticipating, this will be her nice little going home set, which I thought is really cute, really cute. And it has the little mittens that just fold right out for her. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm rolling all the clothes up and sticking them right inside the little matching hats. For easy packing so that's one and if she is a little bigger I don't think she's gonna be this big but this one will give her more room for coming home than that newborn outfit because I know some babies aren't able to fit into newborn clothes when they come out so this is a zero to three months outfit also packing it like so look at the little hat so cute and then I just packed some extra onesies the little organic cotton ones with the sleeves and mittens and extra little mittens that match this little cute little hat and then her photo swaddle and matching hat i showed this swaddle as well as this matching hat in my top 10 baby shower haul so if you want to go check that out go do that i put a link to where I was gifted this hat and matching swaddle from. It's so cute. It has her name on it as well as elephants. And I'm sure you all will see it when I put the photo up as well. I don't know how these mittens got loose. But extra mittens. Scratch mittens. I'm going to pack two birthing cloths for Baby Savvy. As you can see I didn't pack any bibs. I don't think that's necessary at this point and then this gives me the option to put wipes on the side so I have those wipes there but initially I'm going to be trying out these more organic type natural wipes that I got in a couple welcome boxes that I got as well as the pampered sensitive brand so I'm packing those as well and I anticipate the hospital giving us diapers so no I am not packing my own diapers yes I am going to be a cloth diaper mom when I get home but because she's going to be in a newborn stage and she'll still have her little navel tag, um, I'm not going to start cloth diapering until her navel tag falls off within like five to six days. So I'm anticipating using newborn disposable diapers until she is a little bigger. Packs it all up so nicely. So you guys don't know how happy I am to have that out the way. So on to the next one. Next is Mama Savvy's back note suitcase, guys. 
mama savvy suitcase. <laughs> like I'm actually going out of town or something. You can never be too prepared. And again, I'm going to be packing instead of unpacking. So um, I washed every all of my things in the baby detergent as well since she'll probably be on me most of the time. I don't want her to get irritated by regular detergent. I washed this blanket as well and baby detergent. So I'm going to go ahead and lay this down in the suitcase just to cover everything and not defeat the purpose of washing and baby detergent in the first place. So the first thing I'm going to pack is her nursing pillow. This is a boppy pillow. I got this cover off of Amazon. Um, I'll put the link in the description. I don't know. You might want it. It was a two pack for $14.99. So I thought that was really good. That's going to take up most of my room. Next, I'm going to be packing my undies nursing bras that I got from Walmart, $12.99 a two pack. Um, I'm going for more of the sports bra, no wire bras. They're easier than doing the full fledged bras. So those, this is the bra I'm actually going to be laboring in. If you all did not know, I'm going to be doing a water birth. I'm able to wear my own attire in the tub since I am doing a water birth. So this is what I will be going into that final stage of labor in it's a sports bra but when i am still being checked and walking around i'm going to wear a muumu a nightgown whatever you call it <laughs> these are my laboring items and then for the next day or so i also have a muumu that i got from walmart it was on sale if you ever go to walmart you'll notice that all the maternity things are on sale or maybe it's just my walmart and these the area i'm in but this also has a little snap down and it came with a cute little matching robe so i thought that would be real loose and comfortable to relax in day after wear and since i am anticipating that's like my favorite word since i am anticipating a natural birth um i just have one more outfit for going home slash the second day it's another moo moo snap down little thing but i'm gonna combine this with some sweatpants and a nice little sweater for going home next i have my toiletry items which include a small little makeup bag i'll probably do a light makeup you know for pictures it also has some lip balm in there and some vaseline for my lips just in case they get dry i hear that's like a thing that happens and some gum and mints so i won't be all harsh in people's face have you ordering you know the usual mouthwash i also packed some vitamin e oil i've been using this my whole pregnancy for my stretch mark area just as a lotion instead of using a cream i've been using oil because it penetrates the skin quicker it's been working pretty well got some body wash um i'm going to be packing this uh aromatherapy energy orange and ginger body lotion it's supposed to give you energy it's aromatherapy it's supposed to help stimulate yourself so you feel more energetic and it also comes with the hand soap so i got this as a gift for my baby shower so i thought i should pack it as well flip flops for the shower and my travel toothbrush so this was target's welcome bag and it came in handy now so i could just toss this in my suitcase next we have socks i have these big comfortable socks i got from my sister and underwear just in case i need an extra pair but i know that the hospital will give you mesh panties because that's like the most comfortable thing you want to wear my own pads again i know the hospital will provide them but i hear they're just extremely uncomfortable so i'm packing overnight ones big fluffy ones and a smaller size just in case the overnight ones irritate me also prenatals i took out some for about 10 days and i'm just packing the rest for my trip so i don't forget to take those extra items so i'm going to be taking my diffuser because uh, they say you can practice aromatherapy in my hospital you have to look into your hospital to see if that's the option but i'm also taking the essential oils lavender and frankincense they both are supposed to have a common effect so i'm taking those 
a little Bluetooth speaker as well to play music that's supposed to be calming as well since I am going to be doing a natural birth and my camera bag I'm taking my DSL camera as well as my attachable ring light um, since I'm recording with my DSL camera I have to put it in there later and then I'm going to be taking this binder that I've been using to try to keep myself organized it has a nice little scripture children are a gift from the Lord they are a reward from him Psalms 127 and 2 so I'm going to be packing this inside of here I've just been taking notes about things that I want to mention to the nurses and my birth plans in here as well as some thank you cards for the nurses that I'll probably pre-fill and then add other things if anything comes up. And a nice pen to fill out forms. I'm packing that as well. Also, we got some slippers. So that's the last of what I'll be taking. But the only other three things that I did not include is my water bottles because I'm still using that. Um, and then I want to invest in a storage pack battery pack for my phone since I am going to be a mom now I think that will come in handy to just never run out of charge and an extension cord so I'll be putting those three things well those two things in my last Amazon order just to pack those an extension cord because I hear that the plugs are just few far in between so I just want to be able to be connected while I am having my stay at the hospital but other than that, I think we are ready. Good to go. I mean, you can never be too prepared, but also, I don't know if that's everything. But I just want you to comment below what you put in your hospital bag. Some essential things that you might think I have left out on or things that you like that I put in my suitcase <laughs> slash bag. Also, like and thumbs up. And as always, be blessed.